The Dexis IS-3800W Getting Started Recorded Class This recorded class is designed for clinical team members. It provides information on getting started with your new Dexis IS-3800W. The Dexis IS-3800W is delivered with the following components, a set of two batteries, a handpiece charger, the scanner handpiece, a set of two tips, one normal and one side, a power adapter, a TP-Link Wi-Fi dongle and docking station, a backup power cable and the shade calibration unit. Reusable tips. There are three types of tips. Normal, facing downward, side, facing left, and posterior, facing downward. The posterior tip allows for more comfortable scanning in hard to reach areas. The posterior tip is designed for quadrant scanning only and should not be used to scan a complete arch. The scanner design is well balanced and provides the user with a comfortable scanning experience. Power button charging indicator. Press 3 seconds to power on and 3 seconds to power off. The power indicator LED shows when the scanner is active and the battery is full. When the light is a steady orange, the battery is half full, and you have approximately 20 minutes of scanning left in the battery. When the orange light is blinking, the battery should be changed immediately or the scanner will turn off in 5 minutes. No lights indicates power is off or the scanner is charging. The Wi-Fi adapter plugs into the USB 3.0 port on the computer running the ScanFlow software to increase speed and signal strength. The dock for Wi-Fi adapter is used as an extension cable when you cannot easily plug the Wi-Fi adapter into the USB 3.0 port due to space limitations. Note, you must raise the antenna on the Wi-Fi adapter for reception. The rechargeable battery can be charged in the handpiece in the charging station, or the battery can be removed and charged in a battery charging station, an optional accessory. The backup power cable can be used instead of the battery to power the scanner. Handpiece Charging Station Overview The handpiece charging station is designed to hold the scanner safely and charge it at the same time. Place the scanner in the charging station when you are not using it. The handpiece charging station has a 12-volt 2.5-amp input port and a 5-volt output port for the backup power cable. When the backup power cable is used, the charging function is suspended. When the scanner is inserted in the charging station, the indicator light of the charging station blinks in orange when the battery is near empty, blinks in blue when the battery is half full, displays a constant blue when the battery is fully charged, displays a constant orange when a charging error occurs. The indicator on the scanner is turned off when the scanner is in the charging station. This shows the correct placement of the scanner in the handpiece charging station. The scanner goes into an active mode when inserted into the charging station. To use it again, take it out of the charging station and press the power button for one second. The scanner powers off when left idle for five minutes when not charging and on battery power. The charging station will not charge the battery if the backup power cable is connected to the charging station. When the scanner is idle for more than an hour when charging or when using the backup power cable, it powers off. Do not insert the bare battery in the handpiece charging station. The scanner battery charging station, an optional accessory, can charge up to two batteries at the same time. The indicator on the battery charging station blinks orange when the battery is near empty. 
blinks blue when the battery is half full. Displays a constant blue when the battery is fully charged. Shade Calibration Unit After 50 hours of scanning, approximately 13 days, use the Shade Calibration Unit to recalibrate the scanner. Keep the cap on the calibration unit until you are ready to use it. Always install a cleaned and sterilized tip on the scanner before attaching the shade calibration unit. Attach the shade calibration unit to the normal tip using the normal opening. Attach the shade calibration unit to the side tip using the side opening. Push the shade calibration unit to the end when attaching to the tip. Note. The posterior tip cannot be used for shade matching. Do not touch the gray card in the shade calibration unit or expose it to liquids. Store the calibration unit away from light, heat, and moisture. Order a new shade calibration unit if the gray card quality check fails when performing a calibration or if the expiration date on the shade calibration unit is approaching. See the Dexas IS ScanFlow User Guide for more information. Set up the scanner. Remove all of the items from the scanner case and place them on your workstation. Next, remove the TP-Link Wi-Fi dongle, docking station, and power adapter from the box and place them on the workstation. Connect the proper power adapter. Remove the protection cap and place a scanning tip on the scanner as shown. Remove the protection cap and insert the power cable in the scanner as shown. Connect the power cable to the handpiece charger. Connect the wall outlet power cable to the handpiece charger and plug it to a power source. To use the scanner without the power cable, remove the power cable and insert a battery. Insert the scanner into the handpiece charger to charge the battery or when not in use. Plug the Wi-Fi dongle to the USB 3.0 port on the PC. You can use the extension docking station if you need to free up space for another USB device. Plug the Wi-Fi dongle as shown. Launch Dexis IS ScanFlow. Sign in with your registered email address and password. If you do not have an account, click Sign Up and create an account. Click Sign In. The welcome window is displayed. Search or create a patient. Choose your patient. The patient information window is displayed. In the patient's information window, you can choose to scan, import a scan, or choose the intraoral camera to launch the intraoral camera. Note, 
This option is available for IS 3800W Premium users only. Click Scan, the DEXIS IS ScanFlow window is displayed. DEXIS IS ScanFlow Overview In this overview, we will highlight some of the features to help familiarize you with the look and feel of DEXIS IS ScanFlow. In the DEXIS IS ScanFlow window, you have your title bar, which shows the patient's name. If someone is signed in, it shows the initials of who is signed in. If you click the initials you can switch accounts or log out. Click here to start or stop record screen. This feature must be enabled in Preferences. Click here to access the Settings menu. Click here to minimize the DEXIS IS ScanFlow interface. Click here to close the DEXIS IS ScanFlow interface. The acquisition step displays the current step in the acquisition process. The imaging toolbar allows you to select and manage 3D images. The jaw and bite selector allows you to select upper or lower jaw or the buckle bite registration. Configure scan toolbar is used to select an acquisition mode and access specific tools for each mode. The 3D model display screen displays the 3D model created from the scan. The video preview screen displays live video while scanning the patient's teeth. The general toolbar allows you to change how the 3D model is displayed. Click the back icon to go back to the patient's information window. This icon displays the scanner status. Under the settings menu, you have the following options, tips, export, about, preferences, help. Tutorial videos. If you have a software update, you will see this option, and if you are subscribed to a premium plan, you will see this option. In this lesson, we will go over the Preferences menu. To access Preferences, click here to open the menu. Click Preferences. The Preferences dialog box enables you to select DEXIS IS ScanFlow interface and scanner settings. It is recommended to set up your preferences before using the scanner. Note, turn on your scanner prior to opening DEXIS IS ScanFlow to have all options available to edit. There are six preference categories, General, Device, Save, Scan, Color, and Tools. Here are the preferences that will be used daily. Under the General tab, you have the following options. Tips. This option is used to view tips for certain features of the software. To enable or disable the tips, click here to toggle on or off. Software language. Click the drop down arrow to choose your default language. Tooth numbering system. Select your tooth numbering system. Theme. Choose here if you want your background to be light. Dark. Or choose Follow System if you are using the override background color. If you desire a contrast between your background and button colors, enable Override Background. After enabling Override Background, choose your background color. A warning message will be displayed if your color combination is not optimal for reading. Under the Device tab, you have the following options. Choose No Sound if you prefer not to hear a sound while scanning. Scanner sound indicates a beeping sound is heard each time a scan starts and stops. One beep indicates scanning is in progress, two beeps indicate the scan has stopped, and you must rescan a previously scanned area to begin again. A single beep also indicates you have successfully captured a buckle bite while capturing the patient bite. PC sound Select to have a sound continuously play through your PC when you are successfully scanning. If the sound stops, the scanning stops, and you must rescan a previously scanned area to begin again. Click the drop down and choose your sound effect for your PC sound. To adjust the volume, click or drag the slider bar to increase or decrease the volume sound. Under the Save tab, you have the following options. Auto Save Quadrant Snapshots To enable or disable the Save feature, click here to toggle on or off. 
Enabling this feature automatically saves quadrant snapshots in JPEG format for every scan acquired. Under the Scan tab, you have the following options. To enable or disable this extra byte capture feature, click here to toggle on or off. Enable extra byte capture if there are cases in which more than one byte registration is required. Examples could be protrusive, centric relation or open byte. Scan warning, which is routinely enabled, displays green lines and red arrows indicating areas of weak connections among tooth surfaces that might cause an image stitching error. Here is an example of scan warning. Gap warning, which is routinely disabled, displays in yellow, small areas of mismatched data. Here is an example of gap warning disabled and enabled. Highlight hole, highlights a boundary around areas missed in scanning, producing a hole as a result. This feature is routinely disabled when the background color is not enabled. Here is an example of highlight hole disabled and enabled. Enable shade matching if you plan to utilize the scanner as a shade guide. Select the shade matching library that you plan to use. Select the refine resolution default for your scans. Low resolution tends to be used for models. Standard is designed for appliances, and high is ideal for crown, bridges, and implants. Under the color tab, you have the following options. Hole filling routinely is enabled. The software manufactures data to fill in holes in the scan after refinement. The color displayed is based on the selection of hole filling color. To change the hole filling color, click hole filling color and select the desired color. Click OK to save. This is an example of hole filling disabled and enabled. Adaptive hole filling color. If enabled, the software uses a neighboring color to fill in a hole. Note, this option is only available when Enable HD3D and Enable Hole Filling is selected. Here is a visual of adaptive hole filling color enabled with HD3D selected. Under the Tools tab, you have the following options. Enable orthodontic simulation if you want the ability to demonstrate before and after orthodontic treatment results. Enable screen recording is routinely enabled. This feature records up to two hours of acquisition data as an MP4 file. This can be useful as a training aid, as well as a troubleshooting tool. Enable auto save screen recording if you want to automatically save a copy of the MP4 file. Click here to select where you want to save the MP4 files. Click the folder to open the folder containing the MP4 files. Click Save to save your preferences. Enable Live Video and Resizing the Live Window. To activate the live video, pick up the scanner and press the power button for one second. If you would like to expand or shrink the live video window, grab the top left corner of the window and drag it out to expand it or drag it in to shrink it. Button Functionality Quick Reference Guide Listed are the actions and functions of the power and mode buttons. This concludes the DEXIS IS3800W Getting Started Recorded class.